What's up guys, your boy Chris back here and today we'll be doing the ultimate foam cannon comparison. So this is my electric pressure washer. It's a Greenworks 1600 PSI. This is also the default soap dispenser that comes with the pressure washer. This is a Trinova foam cannon. Uh, it's about $39.99 on Amazon. This is another Sud Magic foam cannon, $39.99 on Amazon as well. And this is my foam cannon from last year. It's a Dorsichen and it's about $17.99 on Amazon. And we'll be using the same soap in the comparison. This is the Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam Auto Wash. We're going to start off with the simplest of them all. We're going to start off with the soap dispenser. Very, very generic. Um, doesn't even have any markings for any measurements. Not that many parts that uh, come apart. We have your regular bottle. Um, the cool thing is it has like a little filter so you won't pick up any chunks. But this does mount on the handle part of the pressure washer. I'll show you guys in a bit. Here is a Doisichen foam cannon from last year. Um, as you can see, I've got many washers out of this. Very easy to use to make adjustments. The one thing I don't like is once you spin this, let's say we're spinning it to all the way open or closed, um, it does sometimes go forever. So it's like, it's not catching anything, but it keeps on spinning. I don't like that. You always feel like you might be stripping something. So this is a bottle. This is all brass construction. Uh, lasted me for about a year so far. Um, most of these people that I see pictures of, they do break them. But very simple construction. We have your tube, your brass. The best thing I like about this is it has all the measurements. So we have 5 ounces, 10 ounces, 15 ounces, as well as milliliters. Over here we have the Sud Magic Foam Cannon. This one does have your measurements but it's all in milliliters. So for us on the US side, we might have to do some conversion to convert to ounces to what we're more comfortable with. The best thing about this bottle is it does have a brass connector on this side as well, but it's fused to the plastic. So there might be some issues in the future, but uh, no, no uh, opinion right now is no long-term use. Comes with your tube. easy to screw on, screws on nice and tight. We have an O-ring washer right here. All this seems very brass-like, nice material. Um, this one does lock in both positions. So either all the way open or all the way closed, it does lock. So that's one good thing about this one. Next, we have this Trinova foam cannon. The best feature about this one is the wide base. As you'll see when you're using the pressure washer and the foam cannon on the end, it does get a little top heavy as well as uh, um, it might get a little tippy. And what happens is when you would have this foam cannon, you'd lay it down to rest and all the weight is in the bottle. With your water and your soap, it might tip. I've seen a lot of areas where the foam cannon breaks from the neck area right here. That's if you know you have it laid down, it's got caught, you pick it up by the end of your pressure washer and it breaks. But this one will keep your pressure washer straight. It'll keep your uh, trigger at a nice angle so you can pick it up and get ready to go. Mouth is very big. Again, pros and cons. Um, we, have, we don't have a brass connector on this end, but we have the plastic one on the Doisich end and that seems to have uh, lasted for a while for us. So I don't think uh, that might be a big of an issue. Again, position locks on, off very well, nice locks in place. Also make the adjustments very easy. To make the adjustment to make the adjustment on this as well this feels a lot smoother than the other ones it's a little tough but the action on this feels very satisfying the action on this one feels very loose so you feel like a little bit of slipping and it's not catching before it really turns compared to the doisichin 
simple maybe quarter turn for this test we'll be using about four ounces I have this old measuring cup four ounces of soap and we're going to use warm water the key is warm water helps mix and make your soapy solution a lot more foamy if that makes any sense what I like doing is filling it up halfway getting the water in there mixing it around uh, the soap is a concentrate so if it does stick at the bottom um, it might not mix properly so you want to make sure you get all your soap mixed before you top it all off we are now locked and loaded we have our default soap dispenser we have our cheap Doisichin foam cannon as well as our mid-range Sun Magic and Trinova and again Honeydew Snow Foam Auto Wash. So the first thing I'm going to do is rinse everything off so we have a clean body that we can apply some soap to. We have the default foam dispenser. Let's see how it foams. So this looks like it doesn't put that much foam on, uh, maybe something when you know you might have to clean the glass or the house or the sidewalk, this is a good bottle to use, but definitely not to foam your car. So now we have the Doisichin foam cannon and let's see what this thing could do. As you can see we have a nice you know thick layer of foam and the most important thing about the foam cannons and why we foam is we want all of this to drip down as it drips it catches the dirt and it takes it off the body so you don't scratch anything when you do come back with your mitt so all of this is just dripping down for the purpose of this test I'm just gonna pressure wash this off and we'll move on to the next foam cannon and as you can see, with all this foam, we only used about a quarter of the bottle. We now have the Sud Magic Foam Cannon. Let's see how this does. much foam we used again quarter of the bottle now let's move on to the next one we now have the Trinova foam cannon it does feel very bottom heavy 
but uh, it does compensate when you have something flat that you can lay it on. Let's see how this foam cannon does. Just off the bat, this Trinova lays on the thickest amount of foam. And remember, this is on the stock orifice. This is whatever came with the bottle, what you would buy. You can upgrade your orifice. You could buy them on Amazon or eBay, anywhere between $9 to $15. But again, if you're already spending $40 on the foam cannon, I showed you what a $16, $17 foam cannon can do and I showed you what a $40 foam cannon can do. This one does use a lot more soap, but you do get more foam. Out of the four devices, I do like the Trinova the best. Uh, you do get a lot of bang for the buck. I think you could probably get away with the Ducichen and changing the orifice down a little bit smaller. If you're using an electric pressure washer, you could definitely get similar results. I do not recommend getting anything with a name brand. Again, these are all made in China. You could buy them in bulk, slap whatever sticker you want, whether it's Chemical Guys, MTM, or Adams Polishes. They do have a very good soap so if you go with the chemical guys like you saw the honeydew that's definitely something i do recommend if you do use a cheaper foam cannon please spend a little bit of money on some nice quality soap so you can get similar results if you're here for the first time please press that subscribe button i hope you like this comparison i was in the market for a foam cannon for a while i used a cheaper one last year with uh, very good results but i definitely wanted to upgrade and i do like the trinova and that's my recommendation